Hello and welcome to Tech Baffle, James out of here and today we're looking at the Beefle 100 foot slash 30 meter expandable garden hose. Now it comes in this very nice trendy bag with everything inside ready to go. So inside the drawstring bag we have the expandable hose user manual. It has some pictures to show you how to connect it to your tap. Next up we have the holder. So this basically attaches to your wall. So what you can do, you can then wind your hose around it and you don't have to worry about it getting tangled or anything. It will just stay nice and neat on your wall. Let's take a look at this. There's a few washers in there. We have the Beefle spray gun with a nice rubberized grip at the back and this bit here is metal. So this lever feels really nice and high quality and has this really nice chrome finish. You can also lock the lever to keep the water running. It's worth noting that this actually has 10 different modes, definitely the most modes I've ever used. We have this dial, which you just rotate like so. It's not going to sort of fade between one of the settings. It's going to feel nice and certain. Okay, so up next we have some more washers. I think this time these are for the hose pipe itself. And in here we have the hose pipe itself satisfied register now and receive a surprise and that is all apart from the nice drawstring bag of course i mentioned it's a really nice bag and it means you can keep it nice and safe it also means you can keep everything together especially little parts which you're likely to lose so you may notice that this isn't your conventional garden hose that's because it expands so this may not seem like a 100 foot or 30 meter hose however once the water flows all the way through it, it actually expands, which is really cool. It makes it a lot more compact for storage. It means you don't have to carry this really heavy and lumpy hose around. So you've got the benefit of the length without the big size. Beefle said this is actually a new design. So the outside fabric is 3750D elastic. What's more is that the hose actually has four layers of latex, meaning that it provides a really nice durable hose pipe. And despite that, is still nice and thin. All the connections are really nice and high quality. So you have this really nice three quarter connection and it's in brass, meaning it's not going to rust or corrode or anything like that. On the other end, you have another brass connection. So it feels really nice and high quality followed by a blue connector. And last but not least, we have this brass fitting for your tap. It should be able to survive lots of heavy duty gardening. So enough nattering, let's go outside and test it. So we're outside on this really nice sunny day, which only means one thing. Let's go ahead and test out the Beefle expandable hose. It's probably a good idea to use a wall plug as the hose pipe is going to be quite heavy. Make sure you've got suitable fitting right there. And just got a screw, I'm just going to screw this in. We'll see if this hooks on like so. It should hook on like that, but you can use a washer right there if you want it to be a bit more secure. Make sure you don't do it too tight because it is just plastic. And there you go. Next step is to fasten the tap attachment. So I've got one already on here, which is a bit of an old one. So I'll probably replace that. It comes included with this washer. There's more washers in a packet if you need any more. So for my tap, I don't need this top part. So I'll unscrew that. And then it leaves this part right here with another washer in. And you just screw it onto the tap like so. Oh geez, all the cobwebs. <laughs> and there we go, we've got our new shiny tap attachment. So the next step is to fasten the hose pipe. So it has this nice clicky system right here. So it will just click straight to the tap. It means you don't have to screw anything on. It's nice and easy to attach. And then if you don't want to use the hose, you can just unplug this and then it'll just work like a standard tap. It's worth noting that due to the system of it expanding, that you'll need to empty the hose pipe before you disconnect it, otherwise it's going to whoosh up with water. Now the stand is a little bit on the flimsy side, it's got to be said. However, there is a bit of reinforcement going down here. Now, one thing I would like is if there was two screw attachments so that it wouldn't move like so, but it's not a big issue. So when you finish with the hose pipe, I just wrap it around like this. Once you've wrapped it around, you just place it onto the bracket and you've got two options. You can either leave this attached like so, or you can disconnect and wrap that around also. Now, one thing that's a bit of a shame is the fact that there's no real attachment for this. However, what you can do, you can actually tuck 
the lever in and then the spray gun can just sit in like so. Now the hose is ready to go. It's so windy today. It wasn't like this yesterday, was it? So the hose pipe is roughly 10 meters when it hasn't got any water in it. So let's see how long it extends to once we do fill it with water. What happens is that the water will actually extend the hose pipe. So we've just measured it at full length and you have to make sure that you let the water flow through it and make sure that it's fully extended. It may take a little while for your water to fill the entire hose pipe. So it's meant to be a 30 meter hose pipe and it's actually 30.7 meters at full length. So they've actually given you a bit more. So yeah, we can't fault the measurement. So let's turn it on and watch the hose pipe expand. <laughs> you see it sort of fidgeting around. It looks quite funny. But as you can tell, it's magically turning into a much bigger hose. So it means you can store a small hose, but this actually goes all the way to 30 meters or 100 feet. So you can see at the end here, it starts to turn a bit like this. So it that gets less crinkly appearing and then more just like a stripy line. Now it's worth mentioning that despite it looking like it's in a bit of a bundle at the moment, this design means that it won't kink. This beefal expandable hose comes with this really nice spray gun. It actually has 10 different functions. So to select the function, there's a little arrow at the top here. Hello, Oscar. And you just twist this around until you find the setting that you want. So before it starts working, you do need to twist this around so it enables the hose to work. Oscar wants a drink, so. So the first setting we'll try out is soaker. So kind of just lets all the water out like so. It's kind of difficult to show you, but yeah, it's a very <laughs> random setting. Next up we have half vert. Now half vert lets everything out in a vertical line. So I don't know if I can really show you from different angles. It has a very nice effect. So if you want to water things that are vertical, then that's a good setting. Next up we have jet. Now jet is pretty powerful. You probably can't even tell from the camera, but yeah, it does fire it very powerfully. In fact, it's just <laughs> watered the pavement over there. So next up we have center. Now center is almost like a shower setting, but it's a little bit more sparse. It has lots of little jets. Next up we have mist. So mist, yeah, it's very misty. So if you want to water things like, I don't know, seeds or something that don't need oodles of water, the mist setting is really nice. Plus it's quite a nice one <laughs> if you just want to cool down. Next up we have shower. So shower, this is probably the most useful setting. I mean, they're all useful, but this is probably the one I'd use the most to water plants and things. It has quite a nice precise shower. It's not just a really random one. As you can tell, it waters things in a nice circle. Next up, we have an angle. Okay, so angle, it waters things down. So if I try and line this up straight, you can tell that the water actually points downwards. So that's actually quite a nice setting, especially if you want to water loads of sort of flower beds and things that are low down. Next up we have cone, a cone. Yeah, that's really wide actually. I don't know if I can really show you. Uh, yeah, that's a very wide setting. Rinse. Okay, so rinse is like a tap. It's not quite as powerful as a jet. So it's more like a traditional tap. Uh, flat, so flat is actually a horizontal line. So I can show you that. It's hard to show you on the camera. But yep, that's a horizontal line. Very nice, especially if you want to water a wide range of things. So if you've got like a really wide flower bed or something, you can actually water things or maybe even grass. You can water things really wide. It almost works a bit like a sprinkler. And then finally, we're back to soaker again. What you can do is adjust the amount of water that goes into the hose pipe. So if you adjust this dial like so, there's a plus and minus right here. You can tell <laughs> that's nowhere near as powerful. And then if you put it back to normal, it ends up being crazy powerful. So overall, I'm really impressed with this B4 expandable hose. It's really good value, it's well made, and has a variety of different functions. Also means that you don't have to store a really long 100 foot or 30 meter hose pipe. So that expandable function is actually really handy. So overall, I give the B4 
30 meter slash 100 foot expandable hose, a tech baffle rating of five out of five. So if you're interested in this hose pipe, I'll put the link in the description. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you want any more of this sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, and Snapchat. Follow me at Tech Baffle. For the latest, head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day.